Rest your mind back to a simpler time when you could lose yourself in the outdoors. A time when Roderick Hake Brown would spend hours fly fishing and writing about the relationship between people and nature. And this early conservationist has left quite a legacy. Today, the original Hag Brown home right here in Campbell River is open to the public. And it is so well preserved that as you wander through the hallways, you think that you are going to bump into Roderick himself. It's a beautiful experience living in the house and you still feel the spirit of Hague Brown on the property. Roderick and Anne Haig Brown bought this house in 1936. It was built by local pioneers just 13 years earlier. And it's here where he wrote many of his books and he and Anne raised their four children. They've kept the house as much as possible the way it was when Anne Haig Brown and Rod Haig Brown were alive. The study is my favorite room in the house because when you go into the study, uh, there's, no, there's no equipment in there. There's no computers, there's no cell phones. There's just all the beautiful books that he and Anne collected over the years. The Hague Browns generously donated their home and the 20 acres it sits on to the provincial government in 1975. Today it's run by the Museum of Campbell River and operates as a bed and breakfast, public park, and heritage property. One of the Hague Browns desires was that the place would always be used. And so it is. It, during the summertime, there's weddings that are, uh, ceremonies that are held here. Um, there's an old person's tea and croquet that happens three or four times through the summertime. There's kids camp down on this other part of Hague Brown property that's just down behind the organic greenhouse and there's a lot of activity. And usually the house is full for the summer months. People book months in advance. Everyone has access to the property. And whether you go on a self-guided <laughs> tour or come for a picnic, it's a great place to enjoy nature. People can come down here and walk around the property and go on the little trails and go down by the river. And all of that is, you're, you're, they're entitled to do that because it's part of Campbell River heritage. The bed and breakfast is open May through October, and during the winter months, the house is home to a Canada Council writer in residence. And if you ever do have the privilege of staying here, make sure you take the time to talk to the innkeeper, Catherine McLeod, who not only worked for Roderick when he was a Campbell River judge, but she knew the family and has lots of great stories. So I was at the airport when he arrived home from one of his travels, and he strode across the airport, uh, face lit up when he spotted Anne in the crowd, and he went over and wrapped his arms around her and gave her a very passionate kiss. I was a bit taken aback because I was in my 20s, and I didn't think, I thought they were ancient. Anyhow, they kissed a second time, wrapped their arms around each other, and left the airport. So they had a very, a very happy marriage. When you come here, you feel more like a welcome guest than a tourist. But my favorite spot has to be right here by the river because as you look out, you can just imagine Roderick Haig Brown catching a big one and Anne, his wife, sitting on her favorite bench watching. From Campbell River, I'm Karen Algersma for The Daily. All right, Roddy, you can do it. Hold on.